Curtis Ellis of America First Policies says President Trump should impose a 25% tariff on auto imports to save American auto manufacturing from China's efforts to dominate the industry. In an exclusive interview with Sirius XM Patriot's Breitbart News tonight, Ellis told Breitbart News senior editors at large Rebecca Manzura and Joel Pollock that the Trump administration should seriously consider imposing an across the board tariff on auto imports to deter U.S. automakers from outsourcing their cutting edge manufacturing jobs to China. Ellis said, Let's look at this, right now. There's a 25% tariff on pickup trucks. And pickup trucks that are imported have a 25% tariff. What has happened as a result of that market distorting, totalitarian government interfering 25% tariff on pickup trucks? Well, pickup trucks are the greatest profit source for the American automobile industry. A lot of people have jobs making pickup trucks. Toyota, a foreign pickup truck manufacturer, is locating in America to make pickup trucks. And no American consumer seems to be suffering from the inability to buy pickup trucks. So you could make the case that model could be repeated in many other, across the board, in any other product category, whether you're talking vacuum cleaners, or other categories of automobiles. Emphasis added. The goal has got to be raising the wages of Americans, not the cheapest t-shirt, but the best quality of life. That should be the, the North Star, the guiding principle for our economic policy. Emphasis added. Just look at the pickup truck tariff. It did not destroy the American auto industry. In fact, it saved it. And there is certainly a case to be made for the national security importance of the automobile industry. If we don't get the 25% tariff on automobiles to knock some sense into GM's head, how about asking them for that $11 billion that they still owe the U.S. Treasury? Emphasis added. Specifically, Ellis pointed to General Motors, GM, plans to close four American manufacturing plants this year, which will result in thousands of Americans being laid off, while ramping up electric vehicle production in China.